hello, hello to all of my cancers. This is your New Year's message. All right, your New Year's message. <clears throat> all right, 2023 reduces to the number seven. So we're going to talk about the number seven and the power of the number seven and speaking things into existence so that you can bring, you can attract things to you a lot sooner that you have trying to manifest. All right. Let's get into it, Cancers. Let's get into it. Not only that, Cancer, this full moon that's coming up, which is January the 6th, will be in the, the zodiac sign, Cancer. Cancer is ruled by the moon. The When you think about the moon, think about instinct and protection. The symbol for the moon shows the waxing crescent, reminding us that the moon reflects light from the sun, right? When you think about the moon, you want to think about governing influence you want to think about your instincts your feelings your subconscious habits your mood your emotions you want to think about self-care you want to think about relationships relationships with people places and things including your money you all are the money sign and the mother sign you want to think about how to nurture yourself what nurtures your universe and what doesn't let's get into it all right so we have the six of swords somebody we have the king of swords we have the four of swords. Somebody is finally deciding I'm going to forgive some people, but I'm cutting them off for good. I'm, I'm finally forgiving you, but your words and your actions, um, you're, you're going through your entire year and deciding, hey, I need to, I need to permanently sever ties with some people and I need to not look back with any regret whatsoever. This is the six of the six of swords. It could be 10 people. Remember that we got six plus four is ten, um, or like I said, it could be it could be ten people. That's instant manifestation. The number ten is instant manifestation. It's like instantly I manifested taking my power back and my intellect, because I've allowed people to with their words and their actions to cut me like a sword, um, and it cut both ways. I may have cut some people like a sword, not even realizing that I was hurting myself. Um, hurting from other people's wounds. Like for instance, what I mean, cancer is that I could have been hurt in family relationships or love relationships and went right to work and said, or just did something that cut somebody like a sword with my words or my actions and weren't, it wasn't even aware of it. And I'm tired. I want, I'm this like somebody wants to end the, the cycle of hurt. So you're sailing away from it. You're just moving on from it. Matter of fact, we have the page of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, and six of pentacles. Somebody this lets me know that somebody was looking for people's approval. It's like, you know, I don't want to hurt people and I keep forgiving and forgiving and forgiving. So I see a healthy balance of this is you being in a very intelligent and a very um a very smart and a very powerful position, but I also see you being in a very wealthy position, financial independence. Somebody may have been waiting on a check or some kind of an increase, like waiting for some kind of an approval for some money to be released to you. And I see an approval. So congratulations to you, cancers. This is powerful, powerful, powerful because you've decided I need to move away from I need to I need to physically forgive people. Remember, forgiveness does not mean forgetting. Matter of fact, you don't need to forget because if you were to forget, then you it, it would you would forget that how deep the wound cut. And if they were to try to come back in, then you'd act like nothing ever happened. So you don't want to forget, right? Matter of fact, every single time um, something triggers that wound, you want to be in a posture of gratitude, Cancer. That's actually how you heal faster, is that I'm in a posture of gratitude that I'm nowhere, I'm no longer next to that. Um, as if like somebody... When we talking about uh, sailed away from something, let's say you lived in a particular city, a town or state, and you had a lot of family members there and it was just a bunch of chaos and confusion and a lot of hurt. And you decide, you know what, after all of this chaos and confusion, I'm tired of the, pr I'm tired of the hurt and pain. I'm going to relocate. I'm going to relocate. And so again, I forgive you guys. But I, I need to cut everybody off and I need to move on with my life. So that's just one example. So whatever you're sailing away from cancer, just know that you are divinely protected by your ancestors moving forward. And um, this year, this this upcoming year, the number 2023, which reduces to the number seven, is a year of you 
allowing source to connect the dots for you so that you can say, I can justify moving forward without looking back with any regret whatsoever. The number seven, the image of the number seven has a horizontal line at the top symbolizing the world above or heaven with a diagonal line reaching below signifying a bridging to the lower world. Um, I'm sorry, to the world above, which is heaven with a diagonal line running uh, reaching below, signifying bridging the lower world, right? So seven bridges, um, you know, it symbolizes lightning insights, intuitive downloads that come from out of, they, they come from out of seemingly nowhere to light up your mind. The number seven can bridge anything, making connections between ideas and subjects, seemingly they have no common ground, such as good and evil, light and dark. Um, as a symbol of lightning, seven can experience sudden profound shifts in their lives that make them a, that take them by total surprise. Like for instance, somebody has decided somebody is already in a, in the number seven on the on the bright side of number seven by saying you woke up one day and said I need to go ahead and get my burning bowl out and go ahead and release some people in love. I they've done enough to for me to for them to cut themselves out of my universe. I'm not holding on to any grudges. As a matter of fact, I'm ready to forgive and move on and love life. Like really, really move on and just love my life and make room for wealth. So I do see financial independence coming across your path. If you look at the number seven also, the, the at the top, the number seven opens up to the left, meaning the past. So seven has a good memory and always looks back at history to gather wisdom and understanding of the present points. Um, so that means that when you look back, that's why I said before, you're not looking back to forget, like, why do I keep coming? Why does this keep coming up? Why can't I let this go? Why can't I forget this? No, you want to be grateful that you had the strength to take action. That's your divine mat tapping into your divine masculine. This is a healthy balance of masculine and feminine energy. You're a divine feminine by default. You've already taken enough hurt from people. So now I see you moving forward. Okay, cancers. All right. All right, some of you all have taken hurt from your job. People have said and did things that cut you like a sword. So here we have the Eight of Wands. Nice. We have the King of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Five of Wands and the High Priestess. So somebody, something has definitely been disrupting somebody's sleep. And it can come through like loud and clear. Like you can literally feel like you're hearing voices next door or voices above you or voices below you. But Source is saying to you, you're wiser now you're more knowledgeable. It's time to go ahead and sever ties with these energies. It's time to sever ties with them. It's time to say a prayer. It's time to say, I release these energies in love. You all have done enough. You've said enough. You've done all kinds of things. Here we have the high priestess, which is attached to the moon. So your intuition is extremely strong. Not only that, Mercury is retrograde. That's the messenger planet and it's the knowledge planet. So you learn lessons and hey, I, do I keep tormenting myself by not closing out, closing out cycles and continue being overwhelmed and coming across as bitter and low vibrational or moody? Or do I get myself ready to be booked and busy? I see you getting booked and busy and watch how much business comes across your path. And it's coming across your path fast, right? Just as fast as you see, just like lightning coming across your path. Um, you know, is just stay laser focused, stay focused on your business, stay focused at work, stay focused, right? Here we have the five of wands. There are some energies that are tormented. They're in their own personal hell. They're going through the energy that they put out into the universe. And so their energy is still, will still cut you like a sword, but see the sword energy is also connected to the, um, heart chakra connected to the element of air, the air, uh, the element of air is connected to the heart chakra. So it's like your mind is playing tricks on you. It's like, okay, I want to forgive them, but their energy has been so hurtful and I'm trying to take the high road. It's like all of these tricks playing and source is like, okay, let me make it crystal clear to you. Cut them off. You, the whole purpose of you going through that is to make you wiser and more knowledgeable. I'm trying to take you to a level of financial independence. And some people who have hurt you, if you were to mother their energy, remember you're the mother of the Zodiac. If you were to mother their energy, the sword wounds would be even deeper if you were, were to go back. They've done enough to, kick, to cut themselves out of your universe. 
there's nothing to go back to. This is not energy you want to bring into 2023. Again, the number seven, the number seven, the number seven, the number seven, the number seven. Yeah, somebody was afraid of just being alone. Somebody was afraid of being by themselves. You know, and that's why somebody didn't want to cut people off. A source is like, uh-uh, I'm bringing a new family your way. For some of you all, now some of you all may have good relationships with your family, but source is like, no, I'm going to bring a whole new family your way that is your family that is going to help nurture you, that's speaking to, you know, and your family could be, and not everybody wants to be romantically linked with people. Your family could be your soul tribe. Um, also, if you don't, if you're a person who doesn't want to get married or doesn't want to go into business with people, but you are making it such a major impact on your community and the world at large, it's making somebody very, very wealthy. Like I said, financial independence. And again, here we go. Here we have the eight. Uh, here we have the five of wands again. I mean, five of wands. So we have these energies right here are in their own personal hell. You see how people are like. This fire right here, they're in their own personal hell. They're down there burning each other, talking about each other, gossiping, laughing, trying to get your attention um, via telepathy. So you may have dreams about certain people, and they're going to become even more intense as we cross over from 2022 to 2023 before we get to the full moon. So every night, your dreams could become even more and more intense. Get in the practice, uh, Cancer, of documenting those dreams, like writing them out, whether you're writing them out in your, your cell phone or physically writing them down, but you need to get them out as a reminder of how deep the cut wounds were. Forgive yourself for hurting people, but also forgive them and just go ahead and close that door for good. But these energies right here absolutely will, one day they're warming up to you, the next day they're trying to burn you like a blowtorch. Get as far away from those energies as possible so that you don't come across as a person who is still burning. Here we have the nine of wands. You're at the end. You're at the end of a cycle and it's time to cross over onto the new side. So if you go back through that long and arduous journey in 2023, I'm not sure what to tell you. I, I really, I really don't know because if, even if you're like on the fence about, it shouldn't even be any on the fence. You had a whole year, some of you all, and maybe even further than that, further back than that, to even look at the situation and go, gosh, when I thought about certain people, they just drained my energy. Yeah, heartbreak. Look how many ancestors are all, oh my God, look at all this sword energy down here. All of these energy, all this sword energy, you got more sword energy than anything. That's how many ancestors you got around you to protect you and to protect your legacy and your wealth. So some people had, some people were plotting and planning cancer. They really wanted to see you fall. They really, really wanted to see you in, the, in a personal hell with them. But your resources are on the come up. Here we have the queen of pentacles because you're down to earth. You're relatable. This is an energy, like I said, a mothering energy, a very relatable energy where um, very relatable energy where people come across and they see this and they go, wow, you know, you're just wealthy in spirit and you're wealthy in soul, right? And so source is like, I'm going to make sure you are wealthy. I'm going to make sure you are wealthy. I'm going to make sure you are wealthy. So you are. So you, when wealthy is also with your relationships with other people. So if your fear is that you're going to be by yourself and that people are going to cut you off and run smear campaigns, they've already been doing it. So this new family coming across your, your path, they are, they are meeting you at a high frequency where you are right now. So even if these people were running smear campaigns, it wouldn't even matter because that's not who you are. You've gained wisdom and knowledge. So you know that certain people are still in their own personal hell. So I'm, t I'm serious. For some of you all, that, was your, that has always been your fear that I'm going to be by myself. So going backwards to certain family members and friends that have already hurt you and already burned you would like be going right back to your own personal prison in your mind. Like it's just like throwing yourself back in. I'm so afraid to be by myself and I don't know how long I'm going to be by myself. So it's just like not for long because this quick progression of everything, booked and busy, meeting new people, all of that. So start writing out your list of things you want. Knight of Cups. You're wiser. You're more knowledgeable, right? You flushed out all of that toxic water from the past. That you, that's what I'm saying. Forgive people. But you don't want to forget. Forget. Why would you want to forget? See, we got five of wands twice. You got a lot of people that's in their own personal hell. They are miserable. And misery loves company. And how do they want company? They want you to be mentally unstable with them. 
they want to prove a point that, yeah, you know, look at cancer. Cancer thinks they're better than they just is, you know, they, they turning their nose up. Nope. Mm -mm. You've done enough. See, what, what somebody doesn't understand is that the other person, place or thing doesn't get to determine how bad they hurt you. You have to determine that cancer. And so now, like I said before, you're wiser now. This is the king of cups. We have the... Um, we have the King of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. So this is a lot of this is a lot of respect, right? This is a lot of respect. There's two King of Swords here. So Swords is like put you in a very very powerful position, very powerful position of of just being able to say your yeses are yes, your noes are noes. You're a person that's very knowledgeable. You're very very wise. You're helping so many people. You are revered. You're highly respected. All because you decided, I'm going to forgive people that wanted to see the worst in me. They literally wanted to see me zombified out or unalived. Y'all y'all know it. They wanted to see every, they wanted to see me broke, busted, and disgusted, depressed. They wanted to see me at my absolute lowest, but I forgave them anyway. But I've, they, they've just removed themselves from my life for good. That's what I'm seeing for you all. So good job for you. Good job. Good job. Good job. Just keep in mind that as we get closer and closer to the six, those feelings, those intuition, those, you know, those, those emotions will become intensified. But on the other side of that, what should become even more intensified is self-care. So the more and more I think about how energies hurt me, the more and more I want to go back into my crab shell and take care of myself and get my rest, right? The deeper I want to uh, feel a bond with myself, my own relationship with myself. What do you need to release? That's what I've been talking about this entire time. You're releasing some people. You're releasing some people for good, for good. You don't care what they say. You don't care what they think. You don't care if they hold news conferences. You don't even care. You're like, Dude, hey, I don't need to respond. Everything they said is the reason why I don't talk to them now. So, hey, if y'all believe that, then you keep right on believing. I don't care what they got, what kind of paperwork they got to produce. I don't care what kind of smear campaigns they're running. I don't care what they say. That is the reason why right there I don't talk to them. Uh, see, the thing is, is that... When I look at this, is that your fear of what people are going to say about you, let them damage their own credibility. So all your response is, is I have no response. I Let whomever believe whatever. Because if they're saying all of that and you believe it, hey, that's the reason right there why they have no access to me. That's it. You don't, you don't need to respond. That's the reason why they don't have access to me. Would you want to be friends with somebody like that? That if you've decided to, that you are at a higher frequency, you're not trying to look down on anybody, but that's how they will respond. Then they just, they just told on themselves, here we have connect with your ancestors because that's, I'm telling you, you got a lot of ancestors around you and that's what you want to connect with. Especially if you feel like, okay, I feel sad. 14 reduces to five. It's a pivotal point for somebody to really connect with their ancestors. Your ancestors are so proud of you. It's not even funny cancer because you are... Whereas some of your family members were tarnishing the family legacy, because you were actually bringing, you are bringing pride to the family legacy. Like your ancestors are actually clapping and cheering and like, wow, somebody finally broke away from all of that mess and made our family name a, a name that he can be proud of, right? So that's what I'm seeing for you all, Cancer. So keep up the great work, not good work, the great work. Y'all are out here doing it. I love to see it. I love to see it. I love to see it. And it's just unfortunate. Like I said, the number seven is very, very powerful. Um, number seven signifies its interest is in developing new ways of being and future technological or scientific breakthroughs, psychic premonitions of the future, and an intuitive understanding of reaching into other dimensions. So the number seven is often an unorthodox unique beliefs and values. So the way that you got to breaking generational cycles and breaking generational chains cancer is in a very unorthodox way, very much like how a crab moves. A crab just doesn't move in a straight line. It just moves like this way, this way, this way. The way that you got to this right here, this generational wealth and the way that, and it's unfortunate that some of your family members can't just be proud of you. They got to work. Some of your aunts and uncles are worried about, well, how come their children wasn't chosen? And why were you chosen when they didn't get along with your mother or father? I mean, just craziness. 
and the way so they want to bring out past stuff well, my child, they went to this school and they got these degrees and they had this kind of money. And why would God choose them when they got this kind of smear on it? It's just ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. When you cut people off, forgive them, release them in love and don't look back. 666, just very demonic energy. But you are centered a wake up call for you to reexamine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so that you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. So you're not operating from a frequency of hurt. You're actually operating from a frequency of heal. A person who has been hit this many times with swords is on a is and and you're operating in hurt. You're at a low frequency. So that's what you're going to attract. That's why so many people who are going through some kind of grief, the loss of a job, loss of a loved one, loss of a friendship, loss of a love relationship. If you don't heal, you're going to keep attracting energies at that frequency and wondering why. But this right here lets me know that somebody says, you know what? I'm not interested in being at a low frequency anymore. I'm up. It's time for me to thrive. I got the double king of swords right here. I'm wiser. I'm more knowledgeable. I don't hate anybody I had to leave behind. But I'm not interested in op operating in a broken with a broken heart anymore. I'm on the mend. And it's time for me to it's time for me to thrive. I'm moving into 2023 thriving, bringing honor, you know, to my legacy so that there's going to be somebody in that bloodline that's going to say, you know what, y'all, the rest of y'all can kick rocks. I'm actually proud of cancer. They out here doing the dang thing. And if I, if I can get access to them to see how I can help, you're going to start seeing people, their, their mindset is going to change. However long it takes for them to change, people are going to start seeing you're not budging. You're, you're too busy trying to turn the things around. So that's what I'm seeing for you. That's what I'm saying for you. Let's see if we can pull your affirmation card and see if we can go ahead and close this out. But you're interested in only landing on the bright side of the moon. On the bright side of the moon, Cancer, you are more imaginative. You're more sympathetic. You're more protective. You're more tenacious. You're more loyal. But this is to yourself first and foremost. This is a form of self-care. When you land on the dark side of the moon, as you'll notice with some people, they become more possessive, more moody, more critical, more self-pitying, and more nagging. Like, you know, nag everything is a problem. They nagging everybody and woe is me. That's not you. Forgiveness. That's what I've been talking about the entire time. Forgiveness is for you. You're like, I'm dropping this heaviness off. It's just a heavy weight. Right? I forgive myself. I am healing from past trauma. I release all guilt. I forgive hurt done by others. I accept that I cannot change the past. Anger does not control my mind. I release all sadness. I am grateful for every experience. I am stronger because of my challenges. That's right. That's right. When you're when the number seven is out of balance, um, due to your wisdom and your natural quest for knowledge, you can get impatient with those who's who's um who in your mind cannot catch on fast enough right it looks like somebody has given some when you were out of balance you gave somebody so many chances to get it right and every single time without fail you gave them a chance you experience this right here this you experience a burn over and over and over again you try to tell people you know i'm i'm you know you're hurting me the things that you say and do you know are just hurting me even worse and that's why you've gained double wisdom because you've been burned double times by several people so you gained you so you somebody like really wised up like double wisdom and so again you don't hate anybody at all Matter of fact, you don't have anything negative to say about them at all. None whatsoever. That's why I said they can go find a news camera and say something negative about you uh, to the public. And you're still not going to say anything negative about them. You're just like, you know what? They just told on themselves. So if that's what you all choose to believe, I'm not entertaining that. I've already removed myself from that. So, hey, have at it with yourself. That is what I have for you. That is what I see for you in 2023. Again, this is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. Remember the number seven is very, very powerful. So keep allowing source to keep sending those lightning bolt messages through you, whether it's through your sleep, through your day visions, night visions, through trees, through colors, however source is trying to send the messages to you to help you connect the dots to let you know you're headed in the right direction. There's nothing to grieve over anymore. It really isn't anything to grieve over. You, you are releasing people in love, people, places, and things in love as you move towards 
your um, to move towards your legacy, right? A legacy that you can really be proud of. That is what I have for you. And I will see you all in the next year. Bye.